What's going on guys, Dopes930 here with a tutorial on how to install your Antminer uh, ASIC, um, ASIC uh, USB dongle. Um, you're going to need three different things. I'll put the download links in the description of this video. So uh, once you get them all downloaded, then we're ready to continue. Uh, make sure you have a mining pool set up. If you don't know what that is and do some research, um, you got to have a mining pool set up. So anyways, first thing we're going to do is open the CP10 folder that you downloaded and you're going to have to install the driver. Um, either to click the 64 one or the 32 one depending on um, your your operating system whether it's 32 bit or 64 just go ahead and install that it's really quick just the device drivers once you're done with that go ahead and exit out of that and you're gonna go ahead and actually plug in the amp miner at this point it should light up with a red LED then you're gonna go ahead and open up the program called Zadig once Zadig opens up you're going to just click on options then list all devices and you're going to want to look for the one that says CP2102 and select that one. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click replace driver. Um, it'll either say replace driver or reinstall driver. It doesn't matter. As you can see now, it says reinstall and I, I click it again just to show you guys that it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you click that button and it runs through, you're fine. All right, then after that, you're going to go ahead and open up your CG miner that you downloaded. Make sure you use the one in the link I linked, and you're going to extract the uh, one that ends in 2.4. It'll give you that folder up top called CG miner run. Once you're done with that, go ahead and open up that folder. And inside, you're going to have to create a file. Um, you got to either open up Notepad, or the easiest way is if you just right click it, just right click anywhere inside of that folder right now and uh, click new then a uh, text document and uh, once you do that you can just double click on that and it'll actually open up notepad or you can just open up notepad it doesn't matter regardless you need to open up notepad and go ahead and copy this information I'll place this in the description copy it exactly as you see it into your notepad file once you've done that, you're going to have to replace a few things with your pool information. So after the uh, O as a highlight right here, that's where you're going to put your uh, the URL for your pool along with the port number. Then after the U, where it says uh, dopes1930 underscore 1, that's where you're going to be placing your username. Then after P, you're going to go ahead and place your uh, password if you have a password for your uh, miner. Everything else, go ahead and leave the same. All the stuff at the beginning, all the stuff after the password, the dash dash, and so on. Just leave that how it is. And uh, once you've gotten all that in there, you're simply going to go ahead and save the file. Make sure you save as. And you're going to create a new file. You don't want to save it as a text document. So click all files. And you can go ahead and name it. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I just named mine, I believe, tutorial. But uh, you want to make sure you put the extension dot bat because you're creating a bat file all right then you can go ahead and exit out of all your notepad stuff and uh, all you're going to do now is double click that file that you made and it'll open up a command window that's going to uh, start displaying some information and it should essentially start mining um, if you have any problems it helps to kind of unplug and plug it back in uh, sometimes as you I'll, I kind of just let it run through here for a minute then I believe I actually unplug it because mine wasn't working yeah I go ahead and unplug mine close the program because it wasn't working and uh, restart it right back up one more time And this time it goes and it it starts working right away as you'll see here in a minute once you get it going it's you know it does it all on its own but again for troubleshooting all I can recommend really is um, well as you can see in the top left corner um, it's getting right there 1.6 giga hash it kind of bounces around it goes a little higher and a little bit lower I don't know if it's just mine or if that's how they are um, but as you can see it is mining um, and for any any troubleshooting techniques I have is to go ahead and use that uh, zag or the the program that you reinstall the driver you might want to click that 
um, and just try unplugging and plugging in the amp miner that usually will fix any problem that you're gonna have but hopefully this was a simple tutorial for you guys it was complicated for me to set it up and once I figured it all out it was a walk in the park so um, again guys if you have any questions please let me know I'm gonna be making another video where I show you guys how to just overclock it um, by changing just a very basic thing in the file and uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. And the link to the product will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching.